In this video, we are going to look at vertical asymptotes of the function f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 1. So the strategy for finding vertical asymptotes is to look at the denominator and find out when it's zero. Those are going to be our candidates for vertical asymptotes. So we take the function x squared minus 1, that's simply x minus 1 times x plus 1, and we have two candidates, x equal to 1 or x equal to minus 1. So those are our two possible candidates. And the first thing we do is we check what the numerator is worth in both of those cases. So when we plug in 1 to the numerator, we get 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 1. That's equal to 4. Given that that's not 0, x equals 1 is a vertical asymptote. On the other hand, we plug in x equals negative 1, and we get negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1, and that's equal to 0. And when the numerator and the denominator are both equal to 0, we don't know. We have to do a little more work. So the little more work that we have to do is we rewrite f of x equal to x plus 1. We're factoring the x plus 1 out of the numerator, and that's going to be x plus 1 times x plus 1. And we factor the x plus 1 out of the denominator, x plus 1, times, in this case, x minus 1. And what, now we're going to look at these functions and figure out what's going on. Well, in this case, if we're looking at these functions and we're looking at the value x equals negative 1, well, then the denominator, the denominator is not 0 which means x equals minus 1, sorry, x equals minus 1 is not a vertical asymptote. So we have a single vertical asymptote in this problem when x equals 1. You can see it here in purple. The vertical asymptote is x equals 1. We notice x equals minus 1 the function's not defined, so there's a hole in our function, but not a vertical asymptote. 